Hey you guys! In this video, we're gonna be making a woven basket. You're gonna need some newspaper slash magazines, some white glue, a ruler, a bamboo stick, and a little stick. You're also gonna need something to mold the basket around. A pair of scissors and some thin cardboard. To start the project, we're just gonna rip out some pages from the magazine. Um, make sure your paper is thin, whatever paper you're using, so it's easier to weave with. You're gonna need a total of 15 papers because we're gonna cut them lengthwise and we're gonna end up with 30 rolls. For this project, I used a total of 20 out of the 30 rolls, but it's better to have extra than to have less. You don't need to be accurate with this, just fold it in half and tear it. To make the rolls, all you're going to do is grab whatever you're using to roll on top of, put the paper at a diagonal, and just start rolling. Once you reach the end, you're going to put a dab of glue and continue to seal the roll. Once you've glued it down, just pull out your stick, and that's it. If your skewer gets stuck or whatever you're using gets stuck inside of the roll, use the extra little tiny stick to push it out. You can use anything as long as it's small enough to fit. You're gonna wanna cut all of these rolls to 22 centimeters. You don't have to be too accurate with this, just get it around 22 centimeters. Once you've done this to all of the rolls, you're gonna take a roll and flatten it so it's easier to weave. I found that if you leave it as it is, it becomes really hard to weave because the paper that I chose was thicker. If you have a thinner paper, you can leave it as it is. You're gonna wanna do this to all of them. You're gonna take eight of the rolls and you're gonna cut them in half. 
My half ended up being 10.75. It should have been 11, but I was a little inaccurate when I was cutting it before. These are going to end up being the spokes of our basket that we're going to weave around. You want an odd number, so in this case I have 15. If the circumference of your circle is a lot larger than mine or smaller, you're going to need to use more spokes or less spokes. You can totally scale this, it's up to the object that you're using. If your object is bigger than mine, then use more spokes. But make sure it's always an odd number. You're going to take one of the circles and apply some glue. You're then going to take the little rolls and place them as best you can facing the center of the circle. You're also going to take a full length roll and place it at a diagonal. This is what we're going to use to start the weaving. Make sure it's at a diagonal. Now you just take the other circle, place some glue, Put it on top and then place something heavy on top. And then just leave this to dry. And once this is dry, we're going to start the weaving process. You're going to take that diagonal that you placed and just start weaving. All you're going to do is one on top and then one under. For the first row, it's going to be a little fiddly and a little annoying, but just keep going as the rows build up, it'll become a lot easier. If you run out of the roll, just put some glue and slip the other one on top and just continue on. You're going to do that every time you run out. You'll see in a sec, once I get start the second row, the spokes are kind of staying in place, so it's a lot easier for me to for me to weave. Make sure you're pressing down every time you're weaving just to make sure everything's tight and there aren't any visible holes. And that's it. You're just going to keep weaving and keep weaving until you have the height that you want. Here I'm just adding the two final rows. Also, if you've noticed, I've taken the bottle off because it's sturdy enough to stand on its own. Here I'm doing the last row. 
make sure you end where you started so you don't have one side higher than the other and it looks uniform. I decided this is where I'm gonna end, so I cut it off. And I made a mistake here, I cut it too short. I actually wanted it to go over the blue one and behind the pink one. So I just added a small piece of magazine roll onto the edge of it so I can put it behind the pink one. All you're gonna do is tuck it and glue it down. You're gonna bend the spoke over and then put a clip on top of it. You can use a bobby pin, you can use anything, but I had these like little clips that I used instead. All the ones on the outside, you're gonna bend inwards over the last row. Now you're gonna trim them off a little bit. Here I made another mistake. I trimmed one of these spokes too short, so it was really it was really difficult to make it stay glued down. Just make sure you leave a little bit of room for yourself. Now all you're gonna do is apply glue. and use your bobby pin or clamps or whatever you're using and, and clamp over it. You're gonna do this to all of them. Now we're gonna take care of the other spoke. I was gonna bend it on the outside, but I decided I'm gonna bend it inwards as well. I like the way it looked, so that's what I did. Here I used bobby pins just to show you that you can do this with bobby pins as well. You don't really need what I have. In fact, I think bobby pins would work better. <laughs> You're just gonna leave this to dry now, and once it's dry, you're done, pretty much. Here's what I was saying about cutting it too short. It's a little stubby, and it's hard to keep glued down. Here's a practice basket that I made. This is the first ever basket that I made, and look how hideous it is. But this is only proof that you should keep practicing, and you'll get good. Look how much better that is, my second try. I love this basket. Um, I love the way it looks like this, so I kept it like this, but you can obviously paint it. You can put fabric on the inside, just fold the fabric at the edge and glue it to the side of the basket on the inside. And there you go. You can make this as big or as small as you want. I had fun making this project because I need a little break from miniatures because I have a huge project coming up. Stay tuned for that and subscribe.
Thank you so much to Modest Muffin for being my patron on Patreon. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, the link is in the description below. I also have my Etsy shop linked in the description and all my socials. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.